Hello and welcome to Just Ride Bikes. I'm David and today I'm going to share some of the most dazzling new road and gravel bikes I spotted at the recent cycle show in London. And let me know your favourites by leaving a comment down below. Okay, let's dive in. Now this is definitely one of the coolest bikes I've seen in a long, long time. I love custom painted bikes like this. So the brand is called Onguza, apologies if I've mispronounced that, and it's a work of ex-pro Dan Craven. So this is a prototype and it's called the GOAT, and as you can probably tell, it's a gravel and adventure bike. If you know anything about Dan Craven, his racing exploits to one side, Quite a few years ago, he worked with UK bike shop and bike brand Condor Cycles to bring a stainless steel race bike back into a professional peloton. So it's fair to say he has a soft spot for a steel bike. And this new bike, surprise, surprise, is a steel bike. But it's a paint job that really grabs your attention. A really wild paint job. And then the RockShot Rudy suspension fork is matched to the frame as is the stem. So a really nice, complete, harmonious paint job on this bike. It's then fitted out with SRAM's Explore equipment. So one-on-one wheels and Explore wide range gearing. And the bike will be used by Dan Craven in the great migration race in Kenya this summer. So he built this bike as a prototype for the riding he'll be doing later this year. So a really stunning bike. I think it's one of the best bikes I've seen in a long, long time. Not far behind that bike is this brand new Spoon Customs Bars Disc. Now Spoon is a UK custom frame builder. They've been around for quite a few years and they usually specialize in steel frames. You might be familiar with some of their work, done some really nice bikes over the years. But this is their first dabble into the world of carbon fiber. And it's a custom carbon bike, handmade in Italy, using a combination of a tube to tube process and a monocoque process to allow a full customized frame for their customers. The frame is handmade in Italy, as mentioned, and then hand finished and painted in the Surrey headquarters. The bike on show here was finished with a top level specification, including a Campagnolo Super Record EPS group set and MVSES wheels, and a price tag of nearly 13,000 pounds. So such attention to detail and such high level componentry does cost a lot of money. So it's a stunning bike to look at and hopefully I'll be getting my hands on one to review very soon. So watch this space, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you wanna see that video. Is yellow the fastest color? When it comes to Tour of France, it most definitely is. Here is one of Mathieu van der Poel's actual yellow Canyon Aerode CFR race bikes from last year's edition of the French stage race when he wore the yellow jersey for several stages. But very special paint job aside, it's all pretty standard really. So the same Aerode CFR with a one piece handlebar and stem and full internal cable routing, the same as you or I could buy. We then have a full Shimano Durace 11 speed group set and power meter, matching wheels, tubular tires and matching yellow bottle cages. But still a very cool bike, nice to see an actual Tour de France race bike in the flesh. One of the most out there bikes launched in the last year or two is the Ribble Ultra Aero and a bike that got lots of people quite animated in the comment section, it's fair to say. And the cycle show was my first chance to see this bike in the flesh. And my goodness me, what a bike when you get up close and appreciate the attention to detail on this bike. It really is a funky looking bike up close and personal. And it's the closest to the mad aero of an F1 car, this side of the Hope track bike. The handlebars are insane, but thankfully there is a regular version with a normal handbar if you prefer. And every part of the frame and fork is heavily sculptured, all trying in an attempt to smooth airflow over the frame and reduce your drag. But is it a good looking bike? Is all that aero gains worth it for the looks? Would it pass the cafe test? Only you can answer that by leaving a comment down below. Talking of fast, this new NV Custom Road definitely looks fast and comes from one of the manufacturers of the fastest wheels we've ever seen. So the bike was launched about a year ago and the story behind this bike is bringing the aero expertise to their own frame, fork and handbar for the first time. And it's a custom bike. They start with your bike fit and customize the bike using their process of manufacturing to give you a bike that fits you perfectly. There are two different geometries to choose from, so a race and an all-road, but they both use the same aero frame and fork design, 
and they have a new one piece carbon handlebar and stem and a brand new Chris King headset to allow the full internal cable routing on this bike. As well as customizing the fit of the bike, you can also customize the color of the bike. And while this bike looks nice and stealthy, there are some brighter, bolder colors on their website available as well. If you're buying a new bike today, there are loads and loads of decisions to make. And here is one scenario for you. So we have on the left, a Cannondale Super 6 Evo race bike, and on the right, the new Super 6 Evo SE. Now each share a similar frame design, same aero features, but the tire clearance is a big difference. The regular race bike takes up to a 30 mil wide tire and the SE goes up to 45. But you could expect the SE with the same wheels and tires as a regular Evo and it likely won't be much slower. But you have the option to go off-road and do gravel and adventure. So which bike will you use? Is there still a place for a race bike when you could take the gravel bike and fit narrow tires or wide tires and have a bike that won't be much slower on the road than its road race counterpart? So an interesting debate for sure, and these two bikes side by side at the show really do raise that question of which is best and really depends on your background and what you want from your cycling. But let me know what you think down below. 3T has launched a new version of its Exploro Aero gravel bike. We had the Race Max about 18 months ago, which I reviewed, link down below. And generally I was really impressed, but the one limitation was a tire clearance. Well now they have the Ultra, which boosts the tire clearance over the standard bike launch uh, a year, 18 months ago. As this build shows, with some fat, chunky mountain bike tires and wheels on, the clearance is greatly improved over the old bike. And the company is saying you can fit up to a 61 millimeter tire, which is a 2.35 or 2.4 inch. I'll check and flash it up on the screen. So a really big, chunky, meaty mountain bike tire to make this a much more capable bike off-road and hopefully give more comfort than a standard bike offered in my experience with a 38 or 40 mil tire on a 700c rim. So a really good move for this model and it makes the old bike look a bit redundant really because even if you don't want to run wide tires, running narrow tires on this with increased tire clearance for mud clearance would be a good thing because as I found when I reviewed that bike, not only was tire clearance limiting, but mud clearance was a factor as well. So a new bike looks a good improvement on that old bike. And I can't wait to get my hands on one. There is one coming here to just ride bikes towers very soon. So watch this space. Probably one of the most dazzling bikes at the show was this Candel System 6 with a Stella McCartney paint job and hand painted by Ed Curtis. A bike guaranteed to turn heads. Maybe it might make motorists pay more attention to your presence on the road. Unfortunately, as much as you might want to own this bike, you can't buy it. It's not for sale. Only 18 were hand painted. And for your chance to see them, well, you have to go to the bike show or one of Stella McCartney's clothing stores around the world. A real shame, I'd happily see this in my garage. It's a fantastic looking bike. So let me know what you think down below. This very striking bike is a VLO V plus one gravel bike from UK bike brand, but in partnership with David Miller's chapter three clothing brand and a very, very unique paint job using a very unique process. Only 50 bikes will be made, so a very limited production run. And each bike is unique because the paint job is done by hand. And it's meant to evoke a gravel countryside escape adventure vibe about it. 